So there was an art exhibit in Milwaukee that really offended some Catholics. It's a picture of the previous pope, Pope Benedict, uh, made of condoms. So the New York Times wrote an article about this, uh, and of course they, they showed the picture in question in the article. Now, needless to say, the Catholics involved here need to fucking get over themselves. Stop trying to censor people. We live in a free society. Okay, you're offended, so what? You have a right to be offended, but when you lash out and say, don't show that because it makes me angry, well, you don't have a right to not be offended. You can be offended, but you don't have a right to then turn around and try to censor people who make you feel that way. That would not be a free society. That would be tyranny if you get to dictate to other people, I feel this way, so you can't do X. No, that's, that's not... That's not the way uh, an open, democratic society functions, and you should know that. So all the Catholics that uh, were angry about this are absolutely ridiculous. And also keep in mind the history of the Catholic Church when it comes to condoms. I mean, it was the Catholic Church that went to Africa and said in AIDS-ravaged regions, no, you don't need condoms. Oh, so then look, they're, they are responsible for untold numbers of deaths as a result of that. That's really, really fucked up shit. Okay, so, what's interesting in this story, though, is not even the thing I just laid out for you, okay? What's interesting is that the New York Times printed the picture. Because Catholics had came out and they said, we are fucking offended at this picture, we don't like it. Now, let's look back to uh, what happened during the Charlie Hebdo attack. Back then, they said, quote, under Times standards... We do not normally publish images or other material deliberately intended to inf offend religious sensibilities. They didn't publish the Hebdo cartoon. They didn't publish the, he the Hebdo cartoon even in context, in the exact same context that they did with the, the Catholic cartoon. So, the in other words, the context wasn't even, hey, we're doing this as a fuck you to, to Muslims, or in this t case, to Catholics. The, the context was just, we are a news agency reporting the news that there was a terrorist attack against people who drew this cartoon. They wouldn't even print it under that context of, we are just explaining the facts, and this is the cartoon that is part of the facts. They wouldn't even print it under that context. They also had a blistering article at the time about Pam Geller for, quote, inflicting deliberate anguish on Muslims. Okay. This is something that is getting serious. We've spoken about this in the past, and I caught some shit when I spoke about it in the past, but it's becoming apparent. It's, it's really obvious. It's right in front of us. There is hypocrisy. There is a double standard. You do see some liberals, not all, I'm a liberal, I don't do it, but you do see some liberals who are more willing to bite their tongue and shut the fuck up when it comes to criticizing Islam as opposed to Christianity. Now, understand something, man. I get it. I get it. In the sense that, in America specifically, you have Muslims are a tiny percentage of the population, they are a minority, and in many ways, they're oppressed. They are. We cover it on this show all the time. They pass the anti-Sharia law laws in red states, specifically as a fuck you to Muslims, even though Sharia law is already banned. So it's a way to single them out and say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Um, the NSA has been open about the fact, the Intercept article proved how they were spying on Muslims, even though they knew they were moderate, because, oh, Muslims, so just spy on them. Uh, and the hate crime uh, rate shot up over a thousand percent after 9-11, anti-Muslim hate crime, even anti-Sikh hate crime, anti-Hindu hate crime, anybody who they thought, you know, wasn't, you're a little too dark for my liking as a white dude, those people were attacked. Never mind the foreign policy, which we've had after nine, from 9-11 onward has been beyond fucked up. We're, we are poking Muslims in the eye around the world. We're invading countries that didn't attack us, and we end up killing so many civilians. All those things are legitimate gripes, and I'm with you on those issues, 100%. But to bite your tongue and not show the cartoon because it's a Muslim in the Charlie Hebdo attack, that is a double standard, and that is hypocrisy. And the most important thing is, it's a separate issue! This is not tied to the other issues that you're tying it in with! So the idea is, well, Muslims are a, a minority and they're a victim in America, so therefore we should walk on eggshells around them. But, okay, again, when discussing the things I just dis laid out for you, yeah, it makes sense to talk about 
how they're oppressed, because it's true that they're oppressed. But when talking about the Charlie Hebdo cartoon attack, that's a different conversation, and that's not one in which the Muslims involved in that, the fundamentalist Muslims involved in that, were oppressed. They were not oppressed. They were the oppressors. They were the people who shot the cartoonists. The fundamentalist Islamic terrorists shot the cartoonists dead, and the cartoonists were the victims. They drew a cartoon and they were killed for it because fundamentalist Muslims did not like the cartoon. To, you have set up a double standard now where you truly do believe that, uh, hey, criticizing uh, Muslims in any way is a form of bigotry. But how is it a form of bigotry when you're criticizing the people who did the Charlie Hebdo attack? It's not a form of bigotry. In fact, it would be bigotry to not criticize them. Because what you're saying is, well, you know, we're going to be quiet about this, and we're not even going to come out on the side of the people who were murdered who were expressing free speech. Well, then you're not standing up for free speech. And again, the thing is, if you look at the situation with Catholics, they have no problem. They're like, okay, yeah, run the cartoon. Fuck it. I don't care if they're offended. Fuck off, Catholics. Who gives a shit? Free country. Free world. Shut the fuck up. That's the right response. By the same token, you do the same thing with, with the Charlie Hebdo cartoon. The best response to that is for everybody to run that cartoon. Why? Because they can't get us all. They can't get us all. But when people self-censor, you're letting them win. And by the way, it's condescending to the Muslim world because what you're saying is well these guys are, are more extreme so don't run the cartoon because they're more extreme you know you know how they'll react I I don't have that condescending view of the Muslim world see I understand there are moderate Muslims out there and if you run the cartoon the moderate Muslims are not gonna get angry you wanna know why because by definition you're only moderate if you're not angered by a fucking cartoon that, this should be obvious. You're the ones that are condescending to the Muslim world. You're the ones that are looking down at them and saying, they can't handle it, don't do it. They can fucking handle it. And they're gonna take our side because we're just standing up for freedom of expression and freedom of speech. It's really that simple. No, it really drives me crazy because the people who should be most willing to stand up and argue in favor of freedom of speech liberals in some ways are cowering we covered it also what was it a Katy Perry music video or some shit there was an Islamic necklace that was in there some people were uh, some liberals were really angry that uh, that the video offended Muslims because there was a necklace that had a symbol that you shouldn't show in Islam instead of saying wait a second draw a parallel here if this was Pat Robertson getting angry that in a music video, somebody made fun of Jesus, what would the response of the left be? <laughs> you fucking idiot, sit down and shut the fuck up, we don't care. We don't care that you're offended, it's a free world, it's a free country. Of course, of course we should let that music video go, and there's no problem with it whatsoever. But you gotta walk on eggshells when it's Islam, because in America, Muslims are oppressed. And again, I, I wanna be clear about that, it is true, it is true that they're oppressed, but these are separate issues. If you wanna say, hey, uh, stop the wars overseas, stop killing innocent Muslims. I'm 100% with you. If you want to say, hey, stop the NSA spying on innocent Muslims, I'm 100% with you. Hey, let's try to lower the, the hate crime rate against Muslims. I'm 100% with you. Hey, let's try to stop right-wing bigotry against Muslims in America. I'm 100% with you. But I'm not with you when you say, don't run the Charlie Hebdo cartoon because I don't want to piss anybody off. No, no. That's where you are acquiescing to the bullies. Okay? It would be the same thing as if you didn't run the condom pope picture because, oh, the, we might offend the Catholics, let's bow our heads. Well, that's not the liberal thing to do. That's the bitch thing to do. That's the coward thing to do. That's the pussy thing to do. That's you not standing up for liberal values.